morning everyone! This week I'm doing a shop update. I haven't designed or released any new stickers in a while and I have a few ideas I want to try out. So usually I start off with finding some inspiration. I use Pinterest a lot for this and after looking through some photos, I decided on doing a cottagecore theme for this set. I sketch some thumbnails in my sketchbook and then I take photos of those to work off of from my computer. I mainly use Photoshop to paint my designs and to create the different layers to export to Cricut later on. Originally, I was going to wait until I finished all the designs to test print, but I was really excited after I finished this tea set, so I went ahead and started my first print. I'll share with you my process for cutting Kiss Cut sticker sheets. I promise I'll love you anyway, so sunshine, never mind, oh, bring me all of your gray skies, yeah, the moonlight never seems so bright. Once I upload both designs, the backing of the sticker and the individual stickers themselves, I make sure they're lined up and that they're the right size. The way I have mine, I can print two sticker sheets each round. I use a Cricut machine, so unlike the Silhouette, it can't have two different cut settings at a time. So what I do for kiss cut settings is I end up duplicating the backing layer so that it cuts deeper. I usually do four to five copies, and then you have to make sure to attach all the layers so that they don't print onto separate sheets of paper. The Cricut software is really easy to navigate, but it does have less options than the Silhouette software. Make sure to play around so that you get the best setting for the type of paper you're printing on and what you're using it for. During this first cut round, I actually made the pressure too light so that some of the stickers were ripping when I tried to peel off the sheet. So in the second cutting, I made sure to increase the intensity and the pressure. You do this by clicking on materials and editing them. Here's how the first sheet turned out. Since it's washi paper, the design isn't as crisp, which I sort of like for this cottage core series, and the frosted texture adds a nice touch as well. Now I'm moving on to the second sheet. At this point, it was about Wednesday or Thursday, and I wasn't as far along as I thought I would be, but I was really happy with how these designs were turning out, so I wasn't too stressed.
After I finished the second sticker sheet, I began on a painting. I wanted to create something whimsical and vibrant. I really liked how the mushroom sticker design turned out, so I decided to run with that and paint a bigger mushroom piece. And of course some fairies to add a bit of spice. I've also been really into oil painting techniques recently, so I decided to do something similar, but digitally. Up until the very end, everything was quite loose and open, and I really played around with my color choices and applying different color theories. So 
So I'm gonna do a quick voiceover here because the audio in this video clip was really bad. Come Sunday, I was not as far along as I was hoping. I had just finished my first painting, so I still had to test print, upload photos, update the website, and I dedicated Sunday to doing all of that. You're waiting for the light to change. Well, I've been here before, and nothing's gonna be the same. I didn't get as many products done as I had originally hoped, but I did like how these turned out, so that makes it worthwhile. And next time, I just won't overestimate myself this much. I hope you guys liked following along on this speed paint slash sticker making process video. And if you're interested in buying any of these stickers or the print, there's gonna be a link in the bio below. Okay, that's all. Bye!